A site that has become common at this port of entry. Most of these people work and live in South Africa with their families. They say the abrupt announcement of a lockdown in Zimbabwe led to the scramble. It's because of the lockdown that was announced on Saturday evening. It was like, even without lockdown, people, most people, they normally return to South Africa like from 4 January. So now because of lockdown, even myself, I was not, I was not supposed to come this like today. I was supposed to come here maybe on the 15th, but I, the reason why I came is because of the lockdown. Many have spent the previous night on the queue. They say Zimbabwean officials only attend to them during waking hours. We got have two days sleeping in. No somebody or person. I got have papers. That papers say for COVID-19 certificate say it's fake. I don't know who like they say the COVID-19 is fake. So I suppose South Africa again is supposed to help us. It's been chaotic. There's nothing happening out there. You just go there, there are no toilets, there's, there's nothing. I just feel sorry for the women and children especially, not for myself. Officials say 72-hour COVID-19 tests are no longer required as health Can officials are at hand to screen here. travelers. Those with symptoms are referred to a repeat test. Piman Paloi is ABC News by Bridge Post.